Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, I'm Malia, and today we're doing my first installment of all my girl talk videos. I figured today we'd start off with confidence as our topic. I think that confidence is a really big thing for basically everyone, not just girls or anything, but I would really like to just start off this series with just speaking into your life about it, and that's basically what this whole series is going to be, just like... I don't know, advice on how you can work through these topics and just words of affirmation and oh, like I said just let it all out so I hope you guys are ready for this I have been really excited to do these videos and I've been doing a lot of like planning for these and I hope that this turns out well and that you guys like it a lot but anyways let's get into the video okay so the first thing that I want to say is when you are learning about something, right, and you want to be something, you kind of start to, like, I don't know, you want to gain more knowledge about it or know what it is and everything. So does anyone really know what confidence is? According to Miss Siri, well, actually, Mr. Siri, I'm an Australian, Mr. Siri, I highly recommend. Anyway, so he says, confidence is the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something in a firm trust, the state of feeling certain about the truth of something, and a feeling of assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities and qualities. So, what I got from that, we're just going to focus on the last one, the assurance of one's own abilities and qualities, is that you basically have to believe in your heart and your own mind that you are not lower than anyone or you are not above or under really anyone or anything i feel like a lot of people when they struggle with insecurity they tend to think and put everyone else above them on this like scale in their head of who has what they wish they had or who's doing what they wish they were doing or anything and i really think we start to forget our own worth and our own like pricelessness and stop seeing that we too have the potential to be and do whatever we are wanting basically and when we have lack of believing that or lack of faith in ourselves that is when our insecurity starts to come in our confidence starts to deplete and we just run into a bunch of issues that really i would have rather have not gone through when i was 13 to 14 years old i'd say that you're definitely your biggest judge in everything no one sees what you see and that is just because honestly everyone is too busy looking at themselves to notice any little thing about you and nitpick it and just do all these terrible things everyone's worried about like the pimple on their face or how much they weigh or what they're not doing with their life if they're graduating they don't have anything done in their lives or whatever they don't know what they're gonna do that's kind of my issue at the moment but no one notices that and like i said it's just because everyone is so focused on themselves i mean obviously we're so when you're insecure you're looking inward and at yourself so everyone else is really in the same boat and we stop thinking that everyone isn't insecure about things and that just makes it worse if you want to be more confident what you have to do is to be completely honest with yourself what is making you feel insecure for me when I was 13 or 14 years old, I wrote up this list of three things that I want to change about myself, whether it was physically, mentally, whatever, and then three things that I appreciated about myself and liked about myself, you know, kind of to just put everything in perspective. And I remember my three things were my body image. I've always been way ahead of the curve when it comes to like growth. <laughs> I was a C cup when I was like 12. Um, I've always had bigger thighs than everyone else around and obviously when you are 12, 11, everyone has a really high metabolism and like really like everyone is just really small basically. No one is very curvy and the girls who are curvy tend to be picked on because that is seen as like I don't know being overweight or whatever. But really it's just how you're made and that was a really big insecurity for me because people were in fact bringing that up when I was younger and I was then looking at it a lot more than I probably should and focusing on it in a very negative way. So that was one of my insecurities. Then the next thing was my hair. I literally had nothing to do with my hair. I didn't even know. I just wanted to shave it off half the time, honestly. Everyone in my family is white and has like normal Caucasian hair. And so when you throw in a girl who has African mixed hair, no one really knows what to do with it, you know? And I never learned what to do with it and I would say that also played in a lot to my insecurity because I just didn't know what the heck was going on and I literally just wanted it away from me and it was like up for a good 13 
happier moment of my life. I just kept it up and away because I didn't even know what to do with it at all. And then the last thing that was insecurity for me was my like eyebrows, I think. I think that's what I wrote down. I have it, yeah. So I have it and it's kind of weird to look back, but yeah, it was my eyebrows because um, this girl made a comment to me when I was younger that I had like like raccoon eyebrows and then she was like showing me what they should look like and she showed me a picture of Miley Cyrus and Miley Cyrus going through like her bangers years so you know her eyebrows were like super small and so then I went and got my eyebrows done really small and that was the biggest mistake I've ever made but luckily they have bounced back so it's okay so once I got those three things figured out I then thought about the three things that I liked about myself and for me that was definitely I really liked my eyes I've always liked my eyes I don't know I just I mean, Everyone in my family doesn't have brown eyes, like not everyone, so I was just like, oh wow, look at me, you know? Um, I really liked my skin color, like that sounds really weird, but like, you know, again, not everyone can stay tan year round when you're in an all white family, so there was that. I was like, ooh, look at me. And then lastly is my nails. I've always been really, I don't know, complimented for my nails. They're always, they've always grown like this. They've always been really naturally long and everyone's always pointed that out. So I just really prided myself in that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if their Tim Leah was thinking about something. But once I figured those thing, three things out and I kind of like felt a little better after, you know, asking myself what I didn't like. So I asked myself what I did like and that helps me feel a bit better. And then the last thing that I did, which I had recommend is then I was like, so what can I do about the things that I don't like? And I feel like that's something a lot of people don't do. We only focus on what we don't like, and then we're just like, well, I'm just going to be insecure about that, or like, that's that. And really, that's not the case. I'm a very big believer in growth and just change for yourself. I don't think that if you have something physically or mentally that you don't like about yourself, I don't believe that you just have to live with that, and that's just that. You have to be unhappy about it. I think that you can really change it, and you can be everything that you've wanted yourself to be, because let's be honest, everyone has something in their head that they would like themselves to be like. It's just a matter of working towards that that we kind of, you know, fall off a little bit. I just want to tell you that you can do whatever the heck you want to do, whether it's a dream you have that might seem a little out of reach or it's not very common and you have people who are like mm, are you sure you want to do that like are you are you really sure and you're like yes i and you know in yourself that's what your passion is and that's you know it's what you want to do then do it if there is a weight loss goal you want a body that you want that you feel like you could live your best life in then get it sis if there is something educationally that you want that people are like wow that takes a lot of work and that might be a little hard maybe you should like try something else you do whatever you want to do you are amazing and you are so worth everything the world ha the best that the world has for you and beyond that you are priceless and don't let anyone make you feel like you can't do something because that oh that is my biggest pet peeve is when people are like i don't know i don't think i can do that like yes you can believe in yourself you are freaking that girl okay i was gonna say a bad word but you know it's not what my channel's about so <laughs> Okay, so now that we've gotten through that, and we know we don't like when we do like, and now we're like, what can we do about it? Well, for me, one of my issues was my body image. I then started eating healthier. I got really serious about it, and I was like, the only way that I am going to love this about myself is if I change it. Like, no one can just keep telling me, like, no, you're pretty. No, it's just how you're made. Like, no, this and no, that. Like, it, it wasn't making me happy. So I decided I was going to change it. So I started eating healthy and I lost a lot of that weight and I built muscle mass. So it wasn't just like, you know, big hips and everything like that. It was like toned and I really liked how, what was going on because my body image was overflowing into a lot of aspects of my life that were making me very insecure. It kept me from talking to girls. Like I, if I saw a group of teenage girls, I would, my whole body language would change. I'd just be staying at the ground and I'd walk past them as fast as I could without them noticing me or me noticing them, or at least I think they didn't notice me. I don't know. Like I said, I was looking at the ground, but it was overflowing to that. It was overflowing to how I was acting around guys. Like I was I made myself like a bro because I didn't think that I was good enough or like pretty enough or whatever to like be anything more than that. With my body image, I was just learning how to take care of myself and learning what I could and couldn't do. And you know, I just started getting better. And I feel like that, like I was saying, is a really big thing. Like you have to want to change it first 
and then you'll have to learn how to change it and those are where people things that people get stuck but I swear once you do that it gets so much better and you'll finally start to love yourself like you've always wanted because even though we're insecure we still want to be that way we still want to have that life where we're just comfortable you know and I don't believe that anyone is automatically very confident and very comfortable with themselves it is a process for everyone so we also have to remember that too we're not alone in our insecurities and everyone goes through it so like just don't put yourself in this little box of like negativity that it's just you and you have to deal with it or whatever because there's always change and it can always get better you just have to want it to get better because the people that we idolize who look really confident and they walk with straight posture and they're just open to everyone and they're so just they have this air about them and you just want to have what they have they had to work for it too and they had to do the process of loving themselves and figuring out how to get to where they wanted to be and how come how they wanted to be comfortable with themselves as well so you just have to want it and then you have to believe it and even if you don't believe it you just fake it till you make it you walk into a room and you make yourself talk to that girl and you make yourself make friends and then it will come across as if you're very confident and then they'll want to have that too and then all of a sudden you'll be friends and eventually that'll get easier and easier and easier whatever you're insecure about will get easier and all of a sudden you'll be confident you just gotta build it up in your head i did this so many times when i was 13 and 14 and all my friends will tell you all the friends that have stuck with me and that are really good people will tell you that it, co it came across to them as if I was really confident, I was really outgoing or anything, but let me tell you, I was crapping myself, so it wasn't the case, but what I did and what you have to do if you have the same issue is you just have to make yourself do it. You have to be like, the worst thing that could happen is that they're not going to talk back to me, but you know what? I'm going to be able to be like, I just did that. Look at me. I just like did my biggest fear and you know what? If they didn't receive it, then that's their problem, but you finally did it. So I did that with a lot of people. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some kind of perspective on like confidence and how you can better yourself and it gave you a better outlook on it. I mostly just wanted to do this video because I was definitely a big struggler of insecurity when I was going into like eighth grade and into my first couple years of high school and I definitely wanted to put this video out so I could save some people from that if you were just going into high school this school year I know school starts literally today so and I hope you guys are going to live your best lives and definitely try to be the person that you want to be. But thank you guys for watching my video. If you want to see two other videos, it'll be right here and right here. Also, three to four other videos will be down in the description box, along with my social medias under the Keep in Touch tab. And while you're scrolling down there, you can just go ahead and subscribe to be a part of our family and like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you would like to see more girl tech videos. If you do, let me know down below and some topics, and I will see you next time. Bye! You probably think that you are better now, better now